you wouldn't believe it, but less than a decade ago, it was a knock on quarterback prospects if they played in a college-style offense. However, the days of having a tall, strong-armed quarterback who just stands anchored in the pocket are numbered, giving way to a new style of quarterback who makes plays for the team rather than waiting on the team to make plays for him. The NFL has evolved, taking aspects of the college game and incorporating it into their own. The next generation of star passers are nothing like their predecessors. They're flashy, fun, and have an entirely new set of skills that allows them to dominate the NFL. Once the original structure of a play was finished, the quarterbacks of old were basically finished. Well, not today. Today's QBs are graded on their playmaking abilities. What exactly is playmaking, though? Once the original intention of the play is over and shut down, playmaking is the ability to extend the down and turn nothing into something. If it's third down and you drop back into a broken pocket, but you have to get a conversion, can you do it? That's playmaking ability. A play is almost never dead. There are not many better quarterbacks at extending the play than national champions Deshaun Watson and Joe Burrow. They subtly move through the pocket, using slight maneuvers to dodge incoming traffic and give themselves the extra time needed to get a throw off. Many of the league's best quarterbacks are at their best outside of the structure of play. Cincinnati's Joe Burrow makes the extraordinary look ordinary, spinning out of trouble and making plays on the run. If you see Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson break the pocket, you'd better stick to your receiver like glue. Watson loves using his legs to open up throws, holding onto the ball until the last second to throw a dart beyond the sticks. When you have to have it, today's QBs don't need a perfect play call to get the job done. They Houdini their way into making you believe in the unbelievable. While you need mobility to be a playmaker, playmaking isn't necessarily mobility. Mobility is having flat-out wheels. Nobody showcases mobility quite like Lamar Jackson. He has the speed of a receiver and the change of direction skills that even running backs are jealous of. The true mark of mobility is offenses calling plays designed for the QB to run. The Ravens built their entire offense off the league's fear of Jackson's legs. His offensive coordinator, Greg Roman, does a great job of stressing the defense every run play with the threat of Jackson keeping the ball and scampering. They even use plays where a blocker slices opposite the run direction, so if Jackson pulls the ball to run, he has a lead blocker to follow. Every quarterback coming out of college has to have at least a little bit of mobility. One of the most underrated QB runners is Arizona's Kyler Murray. The Cardinals use his speed every way imaginable. The difference between QB mobility compared to dual threats in the past is durability. Murray and Jackson do a great job of maximizing yards without exposing themselves to big hits. Elusive last-second moves turn dangerous blows into smaller hits. Jackson and Murray are great at getting out of bounds or sliding to end the play without being touched at all. Now quarterbacks can have their number called as much as play callers want to because they trust incredible QBs to protect themselves at the end of plays. The threat of a quarterback running is an entirely new aspect of the game defenses have to prepare for each week. Perfect coverage down the field still may not be enough to stop the new generation of quarterbacks. Arm talent can separate the elite from the good. Generational quarterbacks can not only throw the ball far downfield, but can also sling it from any arm angle just as well as a conventional throw. Placing the ball into airtight windows and showing off perfect touch is a great mark of pure arm talent. Sometimes you can't really teach it. We've all seen the insane throw Patrick Mahomes made in Super Bowl 54, over 50 yards in the air, with Niners barreling down as he let the ball go. We also found out the rocket of an arm Mahomes has, throwing a ball out of Arrowhead Stadium in a viral video. The best passers don't need to step into throws in a perfectly set up pocket. They have the arm talent to sidearm or throw on the move, even to the far sideline without losing any steam. Perhaps nobody in the league has the arm talent of the Bills quarterback, Josh Allen. Deep comebacks and go routes look effortless off his hands. With nowhere to step, Allen simply flicks a line drive off his wrist 20 yards down the field. It's unfortunate for defenses that play Players like Allen and Mahomes can destroy great coverage with even better throws. 
final flavor of this great generation of quarterbacks can't really be graded. It's what makes them different from every other QB. It's the most enjoyable part of the NFL right now. You can't help but tune in to see what these guys are going to do next. It's called flair. These guys are doing things their own way, captivating audiences with unreplicable play. Mahomes has the no-look passes, while Josh Allen has a physical running style out of the pocket and arrogant aggression down the field. Deshaun Watson is a magician, dipping and dodging through traffic before firing a dart down the field. Kyler Murray runs through defenses like he's walking on air, legs levitating over the turf. Flair can't be taught, it's just genetic swagger. Flair is kind of like the signature moves of great NBA players. It just seems like when QBs play within their style, like Dak Prescott coming off a smooth play-action fake, highlights follow. No matter how much teams prep and fans watch, Joe Burrow is still spinning off would-be sacks, and Action Jackson embarrasses NFL defenders each week with his jukes. Hey, even Baker Mayfield wakes up feeling dangerous every now and then. The NFL got out of its own way, allowing these special talents to play their style of football rather than condemning them for it. Because of this, we have the most promising and flashy class of quarterbacks reigning over the league. Kids are now growing up practicing throwing on the run and no-look passes, inspired by what they're seeing in the NFL. Having the same impact quarterbacks like Michael Vick and Brett Favre had on today's generation, the quarterback position has undoubtedly changed, and the game of football will never be the same again because of it. So, who's your favorite quarterback? Let us know in the comments down down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. As always, you're tuned in to Nonstop Sports. We'll catch you next time.